George Gant Swain. He, the man who laid his swoon over, was born on July 30th, 1956, and the Pope on April 16th, 1927. The Archbishop was 29, 57 weeks old on April 3rd, 2013, the day Pope Benedict XVI's office was invaded, the same date I went to the cross in 33 AD. 2957 Hebrew, from 2956 to expel, drive. On that date, the Pope's office was overtaken. Even before this day, he asked me to get the word out via my disciples and alert the world electronically that he is a prisoner of the Vatican like Pius IX. George Gant Swain is Lucifer, the devil, a trusted friend, a close companion, responsible for the murder of Benedict's associate and George's associate, Father Giuseppe Ciavello, who is the best friend of His Holiness Benedict XVI. Gant Swain was 56.67 years old, this is on April the 3rd, Australian time, from 5670, figuratively, to entangle, break ranks and cross over, transgress and turn away. George Gant Swain. I had him nailed with one glance. His age tells the story. The Pope was 1528 weeks old when Lucifer was reborn. 1528 from 1519 and 2564 to invite in, call in, which is what the Pope did, inviting Gant Swain into his staff to be his private secretary when he was in 2003. Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger. Joseph Ratzinger was 29.29 years old when Georg Ganswain was born. This number being, means clear as crystal and in Hebrew to be dismayed, be afraid. So we see the two men were destined to be brought together and thought of as father and son, their friendship so close on the surface. I suspect when His Holiness learns what I am revealing, it will have a profound impact and great sadness in his heart. He, a pure soul, reluctant to believe. But I dare say when Gant Swain has proven part of the move that murdered Pope Benedict's close friend, Father Giuseppe, and how this dreadful man fooled his holiness and accept the depths of depravity of the devil and Hitler's enemies behind the depravity and corruption of the Vatican. On January the 6th, 2013, George Gant Swain chose a coat of arms when Pope Benedict made him a bishop, being protocol to choose a coat of arms, and what he had chosen says it all. If I was to ask any of my people to choose a coat of arms, would there be a remote possibility to include the devil in it? I say no way, but that is precisely what Gant Swain did. And here it is. Now the three words, testimonium, has a value, English Gematria 158, per Hebere 86 and Veritati 104, when added together total 348, in the Hebrew is Jezebel, and Greek means to beat back and hinder. 158, cause fault, a reason or crime. 86, Greek 86 is Hades from 1, and 1492, properly unseen, that is, Hades or the place state of departed souls, grave or hell. Hebrew 86, Egyptian word meaning kneel, bow the knee, 104 in Greek, from a continued duration, ever, earnestly, always, ever. Bow the knee to this monster from hell who has a wife, a male being a homosexual. Philippians 2.10, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and under the earth is hell. Multiply the three numbers, 158 by 86 by, that should be 104, equals 1413152. The 14.13 is mighty potentate. Lucifer has had a long time to dream all this up. George Gant Swain chose his coat of arms on January the 6th, 2013, and his age in weeks was 2942, which means a ring, a cycle, akin to 2947, that is, in a circle by implication of 1722, that is all around, round, about. 
he was encircling the Pope. His age in years, 5643, from 5641, a cover in a good or a bad, a literal or a figurative sense, backbiting, covering, covert, disguise, hiding place, privily, protection, secretly, place. Deuteronomy is a book of the Torah and Lucifer, the god of the enemies of Hitler. The verse number 3238, a primitive root to rage or be violent by implication, to suppress, to maltreat, destroy, thrust out by oppress, in oppression, oppressor, proud, vex, do violence. The verses in question in Deuteronomy are 38, quoting, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. 39, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Verse 40, for I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. So here is Lucifer, the God of the Torah, lifting his earthly hand to heaven in the face of the Almighty, a threat directed at God. Here is the coat of arms chosen by George Gaines Swain. Now a family dealing with a small child that has been molested will almost always find the guilty person as a family member, a close friend or neighbour. It is the trust factor. Unbelievable, a granddad, the churchgoer. How could he be that evil? All the traits of a Christian, a pillar in the church, he is unlikely to have a tattoo on his forehead saying, my innermost secret craving is molesting small children, beware of me. In the case of Archbishop George Ganswain, he is handsome, dedicated, smart, educated, well-liked, young, patient, and has been a close associate of two popes. It is simply a matter of time when the enemies of myself and Hitler covertly influence the moron Francis to elevate him to cardinal. The moment he does, Francis has signed his own death warrant and a new pope will be selected from among the men who will sit in a new conclave, all cardinals. George Gan Swain, Saint George, and the dragon killed they mythical creatures, so it is rather a strange choice to select an animal with a spear stuck through it, representing the arch enemy of Jesus, a man-made, self-appointed symbol of evil. You see, there is another prophecy. It is all about free will. The record shows that men in high places, 100% of the time, are either caught in a system where evil has control and dominates. It's simply how it is. Like a cancer, it has only its own acidic environment required to sustain itself. Quoting from Psalms 38:12, They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they, they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things and imagine deceits all the day long. Psalm 140 verse 2, which imagine mischiefs in their heart continually are they gathered together for war. Or Nahum 1, 9, what do ye imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up a second time. Or concerning the Tower of Babel from Genesis 11:6, and the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. The dogs have returned to their own vomit, about to devour the whole world. Only Christ can save you. I am Christ who has come and will rule with a rod of iron, as I am here for those who become like little children, and they will inherit the earth. Now this heraldry, chosen by Gans Wayne, symbolises the devil being slain by his patron, Saint George, hence the name, and in this instance has been viewed as a symbol to protect the Pope. The image is superimposed by a seven-point star representing the Blessed Virgin Mary. 
Gain Swain has taken testimony in Perhere Veritate, which means to bear witness to the truth, as his, as his episcopal motto. English Gematria exposes it as demonic. The point here, the draconian serpent represents the devil, and the slain dragon, note the same, the name Saint George. Georg or George, that is the conceit of Lucifer. It raises itself above God by slaying the Blessed Virgin, noteworthy in all Protestant religions and weakening in the Catholic, and particularly the enemies of Hitler. Hitler himself did not realise the USA and England had been devoured by the bankers way back in 1649. Now the argument is the creator of the universe cannot come to the earthly realm by conception within the womb of a virgin, then return the same way, grow as a man and defeat the world of demonic evil. Utter nonsense. Reading from Isaiah 14.12 How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain, thrust through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden under feet. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evil doers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord. Lucifer comes, he is not rejected, and sits in the most powerful office permanently as Pope, a man as Jesus was and Christ is today. So as you all reincarnate, this generation has risen all who has lived to be judged. The number seven billion, and as scripture states, the men of Nineveh will be astonished and at this generation of evil. Number 19, but thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain thrust through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden under feet. Can Swain is mentioned here, cast up out of the grave, and his coat of arms has a spear through it. As such, it being the devil must use the enemies of God and Hitler to slide via their slime into an honoured position and wait for the demise of Pope Francis, but also Benedict XVI, as they have been attempting to kill him. Dan Swain is supposed to have been a genetic offspring of the Habsburg royalty, the same Hitler accused of ruining Germany. But the Habsburg line moved to England in 847 AD, leaving the usurpers to take over the Kingdom of Europe. My grandmother, she the direct descendant from 847. Reading from Matthew 12:41, the men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonas, and behold, a greater than Jonas is here. As for Lucifer, the number is 1966, and is the year I married the harlot of Lithgow, Australia, Lucifer's choice. Another mistake by Lucifer, as I accepted it, via her, 
the key of David is opened. Now notice the addition to the word Lucifer, then try and find it in any Bible. Lucifer has been removed from most. 1966, Hay Leo from 1984, in the sense of brightness, the morning star, Lucifer. 1984, to be clear, to shine, hence to make a show, to boast, and thus to be clamorously foolish, to rave, causatively to celebrate, also to stultify, make, boast, self, celebrate, commend, deal, make, foolish, foolishly, glory, give light, be, make, feign, self, mad against, give in marriage, sing, be worthy of, praise, rage, renowned, shine. The English Gematria for Jesus is 74, the Hebrew for Jesus, Joshua, also 74. I am 74 inches tall, and by the way, Lucifer is also 74 in English Gematria. So as Lucifer, the man, Gan Swain, is reading every word I write, foolishly thinking it is undercover in a safe situation, being an idiot thinking it can, with all the hordes of hell reincarnated with it, even it is very nervous for this time death will not give up its dead again. There will be no mercy in it had better prepare for the hell I will bestow upon it. Look at it this way. I am in Rome with Ash. I've told the world where I am. Our rent was paid by a bank card. I am in their face. Even on this date, Thursday the 27th of June, we were delivering the Italian apostolic letter of Pope Benedict the 16th. The church is surrounding the Vatican gathering data for the groups of remote viewers who have nailed the circumstances surrounding what has gone down in the Vatican. What is remote viewing? A form of witchcraft? No. Those of you who seek a fortune buying and selling shares on the stock market may be unaware the news outlets dangle carrots with exposure of scams, rumours of wars or secret mergers. The masses like sheep whisper and dream about smarting each other in a greed or fear move. There is a brilliant computer system called WebBot, an analysis program monitoring the world's communications, watching for words that reveal the collective thought, a kind of remote listening or viewing, and can advise which stock will rise or fall. Likewise, the military uses whatever means it can to gain information on the enemy. Remote viewing is one. A team of people who have been found to have a psychic ability will concentrate on a word, object, situation and can pick up on the collective mind of those who are witnesses to a crime and so on. There are TV shows that show how women in particular have located dead or missing people. And we were contacted a few days ago by one of our saints. He has similar abilities. He sent us information of a group organised by a retired ex-military gentleman but was still interested in studying the phenomenon. He has organised a group of people, all advanced in their skills, and were able to nail it right down to the very moment that was occurring in the Vatican. They were given a name and nothing else, Petrus Romanos. The date of the experiment was from April the 2nd to May the 1st, 2013. It was just weeks prior to this I had renamed Benedict Peter of Rome, Petrus Romanos. He is, I told him, the reincarnate of Peter, and he was my stepbrother and... His was Mother Mary. The following prophecy from Psalm 41 says it all. From verse 5, Mine enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die and his name perish? And if he come to see me, he speaketh vanity. His heart gathereth iniquity to itself. When he goeth abroad, he telleth it. All that hate me whisper together against me. Against me to do, they devise my hurt. An evil disease, say they, cleaveth fast unto him, and now that he lieth, he shall rise up no more. Yea, mine own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, hath lifted up his heel against me. As for the trusted friend, George Ganswain, a name our disciple living in Switzerland from the Philippines, she not completely fluent in German, thought Gan Swain meant the whole pig. By synchronicity it matters not if the actual name is the whole pig or goose wine, apparently a closer translation. 
put the two together, we have 2,000 swine into which I cast the devil out of one man who dwelled among the graves. We have graves, devils, many, 2,000 swine, all fitting the reincarnation of the devil in one man. The 2,000 being years is today. Now, Pope Benedict XVI is such a sweet man, innocent beyond expectation, trusted against Wayne 100 per cent, and I expect he will be hard-pressed to deal with it, a man responsible for the murder of the Pope's closest friend. He had to go, as he was also a believer in myself and a witness to how it all unfolded. Remember how a child, no Lester, is trusted and beyond suspicion. That is how it works the devil. Quoting from Mark 5, verse 1, And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice, and said, what have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Legion in the Greek dictionary is 3003 of Latin origin, a Roman regiment, figuratively legion. Hebrews 7.19, for lo the law made nothing perfect, but the bringing in of a better hope did by the which we draw nigh unto God. Bringing Greek dictionary 1898 from a compound of 1909 and 1521, a super introduction bringing in. Can swain be at whole pig, meaning the swine? I, Jesus, cast the legion, the Rome army, into hell, the sea. But what does the distance to the planets reveal? Measuring from the Sun, we have in order of distance Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. You can see there each of their distances in astronomical units and they total 94.74. Greek 947 means abominable and Hebrew the polluted. Found only once in Titus 1.16 they profess that they are no God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and, and unto every good work reprobate. Abominable, Greek Dictionary 947, from 948, detestable, that is specially idolatrous, abominable. Now a Roman legion was 6,000 men, and this number means wickedness from 5999. Psalm 5998, toil, wearing effort, hence worry, whether of body or mind, grievance, iniquity, labour, mischief, miserable, painful, perverseness, sorrow, toil, travail, trouble, wearisome, wickedness. There is no other candidate. George Ganswain was aware Pope Benedict and his staff, Sister Maria Della Rosa and Father Giuseppe Giavello, all believed they had talked to Christ. Then on April the 3rd, 2013, the investigators for Francis forced their way into the papal office, arrested Father Giuseppe and Sister Maria Della Rosa, and what did Gain Swain do? Nothing. Gain Swain, it was reported by the men working for Francis, had sworn to Francis not to mention me or listen to what I say. He had taken on the position of prefect of the papal household of both popes. 
He organizes everything. Nothing occurs without his hand in it. What has he done about the two missing persons of the papal household or the confinement of Pope Benedict XVI who told me he was a prisoner, not allowed to do anything, a prisoner of the Vatican? He said to me that he was like Pope Pius IX who many years ago was a prisoner of the Vatican. Pope Benedict XVI asked me to tell the world via my disciples and the internet he is a prisoner. Mark 5.11 reading, Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding, and all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea, they were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. And they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country. And they went out to see what it was that was done. And they came to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. And that they, they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil and also concerning the swine. Continuing reading Job 4, 8, Even as I have seen, they that plough iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. By the blast of God they perish and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. Now a disciple gifted with the ability to see psychically, when adding her insight to that of the team of remote viewers, and we have a sound grasp of what they collectively saw. One name, Petros Romanos, a name mentioned by Malachi in 1143 when he visited Rome, and while there had a vision of the 111 men who would become Pope. Each man chooses a name he would use while Pope. The 111 names were predicted and were all correct. Then he added another, Petros Romanus, which was a mystery. I explained to Pope Benedict he could not retire as Pope, but could as a king of the Vatican. The Vatican was set up in 1927 on February the 11th, and there have been seven popes. Benedict announced his retirement 84 years to the date on February the 11th, 2013. Prophecy states there will be seven kings, and of the seven, one will be the eighth pope. Revelation 17.11, quoting, And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. So what they have is one man still alive, and six are dead. They want Pope John Paul II to raise from the dead and infest the man who will be the eighth. What they do not want is Benedict to become a Pope again. Now the responsibility of a high-ranking church official, if they are aware Christ is back, is to rally behind him. And so when Benedict announced Christ is back in his apostolic letter, the church should have announced it as it was unnecessary for a new Pope to be found. Christ is the head of the church. Francis cannot be a Pope after Christ had been announced by Benedict VI. 16th. Benedict actually announced on March the 12th when he uploaded the return of Salvatore Mundi to Brian Lenny Go Lightning Marshall to his Facebook page. This was while the conclave was convening and before Francis had been elected on the 13th. So it was then that the devil moved, and at the same time the remote viewing team was sitting down to start their assignment. All they had was the name Petrus Romanus. The following is their findings. Keep in mind, by April 2nd, Rome time, the moves against Pope Benedict was about to occur on the 3rd in Australia through to May the 1st. They were given one word, Petrus Romanus. The results varied somewhat, yet suggest a combined and accurate picture according to the report. The eight viewers are highly gifted in this respect, 
and a valuable asset to an army when confronted with no information other than that what the combined minds of viewers can accomplish. It is then a matter of common denominator. The sketch, which is actually shown at the end of this PowerPoint, at the time of this was not available. The following, in quotes, are each individual separated from each other for the study, and the results are surprisingly similar. This sketch makes me feel very sad, I believe. It symbolises a person who got lost or went missing and is now dead. The sketch depicts a person in a horizontal position in an enclosed space. I felt that underneath played a big part in the location of the person. The person has two distinct chest wounds. I again have the strong urge that the site it connected or related to water in some way. The target seems to be enclosed in a cubic or box-like structure. The intangible data suggested that there is foul play involved, like a murder relating to business. Deceptive moving life form at the site. I've come for yours here. Now, I won't read all of this. You can read through it yourself. Slow down the YouTube to go through what is being said here. But you can see murder, foul play, deception. And, of course, a charming human who is a bad guy and is morphing somehow. I would remind you that uh, in previous uploads, and of course it's all over the internet and the YouTube, of the 24 rooms underneath the Vatican where they have Lucifer on the wall. And it is very damp down there in some areas. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, connections. There's a river nearby physically when you've been to the Vatican as we have. It's right beside a river. And there's actually a fountain right beside the obelisk. So all of the... Um, Plumbing for the fountain, which runs day and night, is underneath, and so the place is very damp. This was all picked up on by our disciple before we were given this information by the remote viewing who were meeting at the same time. So we have deception, murder, underneath, Vatican, wet, near a river. And of course, it's all connected to the catacombs. And uh, if you remember the letter announcing the, the uh, murder of Father Giuseppe in it. They talked about the washing away of evidence, etc., etc. So it's all very, it's all skullduggery, it's all covert, it's all... Lucifer, what more could we expect? So when we examine the entire scenario, there's little doubt who the Lucifer character is. It's Archbishop Dan Swain. Handled everything. He, a patient man deceptive and failing in his duty to announce to the world that Benedict is under house arrest. His close friend, Father Giuseppe, apparently dead, as the investigators for Francis told us he was shot eight times, head, chest and side. Actually, we were told three times in the head, three times in the... twice in the chest and three times in the ribs. So what of Sister Maria Della Rosa, the Pope's biographer? Did they kill her? She was witness to the whole affair, a skilled writer. She was very dangerous. They told us she had been shipped out of Italy. Now, in Canada, of course, you've got Monsignor Giovanni Rossini, who had helped Father Giuseppe with the Facebook, uploading the apostolic letter. We were told he was no longer a priest, being stripped of his priestly garments, just as Giuseppe had been. Now, if I was just some old man who had spoken with another old man, sad and ill, who wanted to go out with a flash of glory, then simply dismiss this. But when the entire papal office was witness to it all, and as well the sudden recovery, recovery of His Holiness Benedict XVI from his aches and pains, be miraculously cured and restored back to health, so convinced that he wrote the apostolic letter, unaware he was being held as a scapegoat set up by the enemies of Jesus and Hitler and at a moment in space-time when the world is buzzing about Christ being back. One wonders what the remote viewers would come up with by being given my name 
Brian Leonard, Go Lightly, Marshall. And of course, as all of this is occurring in Rome, we are revealing the earth wobble. Surely these are signs from heaven. Now to address this issue, it remains to be seen how fast the axis wobble will continue. It will settle down eventually as the solar system travels further north above the Milky Way galaxy equatorial line. The north pole of the galaxy is exerting pressure on the solar system and the Earth itself. And logically, the Earth should flip upside down. We see this as why the Coriolis effect can be seen in the clouds. The weather, sink, holes, tidal flow, and the moon no longer upright as it also wobbles. After December 11th in 2011 at 11.11 a.m. east coast of Australia, we filmed the moon flip 180 degrees in an hour and then return upright that has not settled. It is still wobbling, being reported from the Bahamas on the 25th that it flipped again. So we end this PowerPoint quoting more scripture, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. In Mark 13, 23, but take ye heed, behold, I have foretold you all things, but in those days after that tribulation the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory, and then shall he send his angels, and shall gather together his elect from the four winds from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. All things Jesus spoke in parables, meaning it is like, and is what the name Marachal means, parables. Here is the sketch, remote viewers, came up with, lost, death, missing, associated with water, early grave, shock, surprised, just business. And this is the man it is all about. The reincarnate Lord Jesus Christ with his new name of the Revelation 3.12, the name written that only he would know of the Revelation 19.12, the word of God, Brian Leonard, go lightly, Marshall.